Hey everyone, Matt here from Herbal House and in this video we're taking a closer look at the Four Seasons Supplemental LED Grow Lights. Now I'm putting an emphasis there on supplemental because we would not recommend growing with any of these panels as a dedicated grow light. They are designed to run alongside your main grow light. Don't get me wrong, there's situations where you might just want the spectrum, but in just about all cases, these are designed to run alongside the main grow light and supplement in those specific spectrums between these three. So quickly, I'll touch on all three panels. We have the 660, which is your deep red. We have the ultraviolet or UVA, which is your purple and blue here. And we have the far red, so that's your 730 spectrum. Now to go in depth about the actual design of these panels, these are extruded black aluminium housing, which makes them passive cooled. So there's no fans, no operation noise, pure sun. Perfect for the grow space, right? The diodes are adequately spread right to the edge of the panel, so you're gonna get really good distribution, light penetration, and even saturation across your canopy. Now in saying that, they are of course supplemental, so they are only 30 watts per unit. So keep that in mind, they are not there to realistically drive up and completely grow, they are there to bump the numbers of those spectrums and enhance your growing. So with that in mind, there is a two meter power cable, which you will plug straight into your timer, or it does have a manual toggle switch built into the cable to make things nice and easy. Now, keeping in mind that these spectrums, while we do recommend using glasses to protect your eyes among any grow light. More specifically, this ultraviolet is like staring into the sun, so you 100% want to be using some eye protection when these lights are operating. I'm sweet because I'm just sitting behind this panel, but if you're in front of it, like Cameron the cameraman is, he's wearing a pair of sunglasses, well, UV LED grow glasses to keep his eyes protected. So now that I've touched on that, let's actually look at how these, sorry, what these units include in the packaging. Okay, so as you can see, Beautiful Four Seasons box here with all the labeling on the side, two year warranty of course, little Herbal House logo, just so you know it's good stuff. And we have a little description on the side. So all of these boxes are gonna look the same between these three panels. The difference is the tick box on the specification on the side there, just so you know which panel you're unboxing if you decided to get all three. When you power these down, they all look pretty much the same until you turn them on, so just keep that in mind. Within the box there, let's just put this down, we have the foam insulation, so that's what's gonna be housing your LED light, and it's got the hangers and the brackets included all in this package inside the box, so you know it's gonna get there nice and safe. So just touching on these brackets here, they're what you're gonna to use to hook into the end of the panel and string it up, and the adjustable hangers for an easy installation. I will cover that later on in this video, but what we're gonna do is break it down into three sections, so you can basically skip forward if you wanna see the UV, the far red, or the uh, deep red on these panels and just really get a bit of a more understanding of how these work. So I'm gonna start with the ultraviolet panel. All right, so while it might look like a black light from a UV rave, we would not recommend using it as such. This is there to enhance, ripen, and produce higher quality fruits from your plant. It is essentially adding that ultraviolet light that the sun provides and enhancing upon that. So keeping in mind that the ultraviolet spectrum, or at least the UVA from these lights, it does not throw as far or penetrate as much as your main grow light. So in a lot of cases, this light should be mounted slightly closer than the main light. Don't get me wrong, there's no trouble if you do mount it in line with your main light because of limitations. But keeping that in mind, we do not recommend running this light for the full period of time as your main grow light. So in a lot of cases, uh, clients will run this for four hours in the middle of their light cycle. And even then, in some cases, I have heard that is still too much exposure from this light and you'll dial it back, uh, so let's say to two hours and see how you go from there. Because in a lot of cases, this is extremely beneficial to have. You just don't want to overexpose and cause stress related problems for, you know, from your plant, sorry. So just keep that in mind that this light is quite detrimental if overexposed, but if used correctly, you will see some huge improvements in quality and ripeness of your fruit, as again, you are emulating that exposure from the sun that indoor growing lights just don't have too much emphasis on. Okay, so as you can see, this is quite a bright or a deep red. So this is your 660 nanometer focused supplemental light here. So a lot of people use this in application specifically for flowering enhancement because the common conception is a flowering plant has quite a high desire for the red wavelengths of spectrum. So this is there to supplement that and increase those values if you feel like you're not getting enough from your current grow light. Now, keeping in mind this light can be run for let's say that full 12 hour exposure if you're on a 12 hour light cycle alongside the main grow light. There is no limitations with this as long as it is only run alongside your main grow light even for less hours if required. That's if you start seeing some detrimental effects which could be something along the lines of stretch but in most cases people will just run this at the same height as their main grow light for the same amount of duration. 
So that's quite an easy light to cover, but last and not least is the sleep initiator. Now the reason I call this a sleep initiator is that was its most common design feature. This 730 nanometer spectrum, as you can see, it's a, definitely not as bright as the last one, and that is because it is further up the spectrum, more towards, or sorry, more further away from the visible spectrum, which is why it appears dim. Now, most of the Four Seasons grow lights do have a few of these diodes scattered around, but as you can see, this is an entire bar dedicated to them. So the conception was, this panel provides the 730 spectrum and that is there to initiate sleep. So you'd use that for your 15 minutes leading up to the main grow light turning off and running on for that 15 minutes after. And the idea is that's triggering the response from the plant to initiate sleep. So there is a benefit there we have found and a lot of clients are telling us this is working quite well. However, due to the spectrum this provides, we are seeing there are some benefits to actually run this for periods of time during the main grow light cycle. Keeping in mind that when you run this grow light, if you overexpose the plants, you can induce quite high amounts of stretch. So that's a good indicator that you're using too much of the spectrum. But the benefits are if you aren't reaching those levels of stretch, the plant will provide better photosynthesis, sorry. The, the term is the Emerson effect and you're essentially stimulating photoreceptor number two from what I understand and using this for that period of time is beneficial. But like I said, if you use too much of it, you can get pretty wild amounts of stretch. So just keep that in mind when you're using this panel. Now, because of that, we don't necessarily recommend running this any closer than your main grow light. You can run it at the same height or canopy distance as your main grow light or even above because for a sleep initiation, the plants are simply there to recognize the spectrum, not necessarily grow from it. But if you are looking to benefit from the Emerson effect and running it at the main height as your grow light is the way to go. So keep that in mind when you're using this light. Again, you're gonna be using timers for all of these lights to regulate how they are run. Now that I've covered all three of these panels, let's actually show you how to set one up. Okay, so to break it down, we've got your end bracket or hanging mount and a ratchet hanger. So you're gonna use these one at each end. Now to show you, there are a set of holes here. These are quite flexible for installation, but with the included hooks, you're just gonna slip them through the two holes like so. And that's where you're gonna clip on your ratchet hanger. And from there, you're good to go and string it up in the tent. So I'll show you what that looks like now. And just up at the top of the tent here, we've got an adjustable pole. So most people just take the hoop of the ratchet hanger, feed it over, and then just clip it back onto itself like so. So now you've got a good point to adjust from, and it's easily movable back, forth, left, and right. All right, so as you can see, these Four Seasons Supplemental Grow Lights are a fantastic addition to just about any grow light you're working with. But keeping in mind, we do recommend the safer glasses, particularly around the ultraviolet, especially in such a reflective environment. It's a must have. So I hope you've enjoyed this video, and if you have any questions at all, please feel free to get in touch. Thanks for watching.